Today we're going to talk a little bit about block sanding curved surfaces and the best tools, paper grit, and methods for getting them straight. You might think you need a block that curves or is curved to do those surfaces, but it's good to know in the old days these were the only types of sanding blocks available and all of your block sanding can be done with these three tools. To be able to see your highs and lows a little bit easier, you can give it a light coat of spray bomb black. And while you're sanding, this, these black little spray dots or paint will show up in the low areas. This area was a rust hole. After the repair, we primed it with three coats of primer servicer. So, what we have is a, is a flare right here, so it, it flares. This also flares out. We have a curve in here, and a curve here, and then a body line right here. And this is nice and flat. We're going to be using 120, and you can use anything from uh, 120, 150, or 180. Anything in the ones will be great for block sanding primer servicer. Now, you don't want to go just go this way because this edge, this front edge, is just going to dig in. Same here. It's just going to dig in. So on a curved surface, you're going to be going like this. And we're going to focus on this flare right here first. And then right here, we're going to, we're going to go this We're not going to go this way. We're going to be going down this way. So any flares, you're going to take the block and move it like this. And then go back against that. And we're only going to really go up to that. There's a sort of a subtle body line right there. So we're going to focus on this right here. Then we're going to focus on this. Then we're going to go this. And then we'll work on this. So let's start this area just right in here. And you can go in circles no matter what they say. If circles works for you right in this area, that's fine. The block, we're, we're concerned about getting it nice and flat this way, not so much that way. And if I was using fine sandpaper, it would be getting clogged, and I would just be riding over it, just be riding over those contours or those, those irregular shapes. The sharpness cuts through.
Okay, let me give you a close-up shot, show you what we have. At this point, it looks pretty good. We had to stop though because we have some metal, a little bit of a high area showing through. So you have to stop when you see that, that metal. We do have a little low spot right here where the guide coat is showing through and a ding back here. I don't know if you can see that, but I must have missed that. Otherwise, it's nice and flat and no low spots are showing up. And now we'll take care of this flat surface but we'll lay a piece of tape down first, make sure we get this body lag right. And now all we have to do is sand up to that tape line. It looks pretty good, good enough. And that's it for that body line. You can knock it down a little bit with some finer sandpaper, like maybe 220, 240, something so that it's not so sharp. And that should do. Now we'll take care of this. And that's good there. We don't have any low spots and the metal's starting to show so we have to stop. We'll hit this a little bit with the DA before we prime it again. This way, this way, and even in circles. Like I said, I have a little bit of funkiness here. Might have to hit that with some uh, putty.
on this lower section, it flares this way and it flares this way and around this way. So we're gonna use the shorter block. If I feel that that's not working, we'll use the DA. Since it's round, it'll work in this area a little better. And like I said, there's a flare here and a flare here. And again, the reason I'm holding the block like this and not like this is because this goes with the flare with that hollowed out area as opposed to this and the ends digging in. This end and this end would dig in. So we're going to go this way. and we can finish it up with the DA. find any low spots like this little ding that I missed you can just fill it in sand it and then give it one last coat of primer for finish sanding when I get that coat of primer on I'll be back The mix ratio for any primer surfacer is generally for block sanding. For finished sanding though, before painting, you'll want to mix it a bit thinner. Sanding will be a lot easier and faster. After two coats of primer surfacer mixed a bit on the thin side, this panel is ready to be wet sanded with 400 grit or DA sanded with anything from 220 to 320, then painted.
I hope you enjoyed this video on black sanding curved surfaces. If you did, and you'd like to get my latest videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.